Oh, Portland, Oregon, my home, my love. My, how I've missed you. I've missed you. You are deeply missed. That's M-I-S-T. You are missed. Oh, and I love that about you. For those of you listening around the country, it's, it's a refreshing, welcoming, noble mist. Isn't that right, Portland? It's your... I know it's sunny right now, but... Just right now. It's your Statue of Liberty, the mist is, your arch. It's the security blanket of the Pacific Northwestern winter, spring, and fall, and summer. The mighty perma mist. Don thy parka, hail Portlander. Well met. What can't you do in the perma mist? Nothing. That's what. Can you jog? Yup. You jogged to this theater, didn't you? Can you eat a charcuterie plate in the perma mist? Hell yes, you can. In fact, the 2,000 odd people in this theater are the only people in all of Multnomah County who aren't currently consuming a cured pork product. Can you write a Civil War love song in the perma mist? Colin Malloy can. Heart carved tree, chunk Yankee, bayonet a sweetheart left behind. Far from the hills of the sweet South Carolinas, that's where my true love lies. Can you sing a December song in January? Yeah. You can do anything you want in Portland. I got to live here for five years and I loved every second of it. So nice. When it hits your lips, when it hits your lips. My wife Claire and I moved out here after she was cast on a television show called Grimm. Oh, I see there's some Grimsters in the house. For the uninitiated, for the uninitiated, Grimm, as in the Brothers Grimm, was a fairy tales for grown-ups thriller that tended to emphasize the most disturbing aspects of classic fairy tales, like, for instance, big bad wolves eating and then impersonating people's grandmothers, people's grandmothers eating their prospective grandchildren out of their children's wombs. It was great fun. <laughs> great show. Claire, my wife, was Adeline Shade, lawyer by day. Yes. Oh, some Adeline fans in the house. Mighty fine. She was lawyer by day, Adeline Shade was lawyer by day, conniving murderous hexen beast by night. People would come up to get a picture with her when we were out to dinner and say afterwards, wow, you're, you're so much nicer in person. It was as if they were pleasantly surprised that she hadn't poisoned them mid-selfie. We moved to Brooklyn about a year ago, and this is the first time I've been back since. I made a beeline for my favorite of Portland's 500,000 coffee shops, and when I stepped up to the register, I heard one of the things I missed most about living here. A barista saying, hi, what you up to today? Not, what can I get you? Or, how's it going? It's, what you up to today? And it's totally sincere. Y'all are genuinely interested in how your fellow humans are choosing to spend their days. You're gonna go see a Timbers game? You're gonna climb Mount Hood? You in between stops on a charcuterie plate crawl? All of the above. This is Portland. You live well and you look out for each other. I'm so happy to be back. 